I'm going to talk to you until it starts. Uh, please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification. There it is. To be notified when I post a new video. Remember, rare hearts if you made it through. Purple hearts if it resonates. Green hearts if you're working on it. Yellow hearts if you rock with me and got my six. Me to have my back because I have yours. Do me a favor, please, please, please. In order to get my channel out there, like the video, subscribe, watch the channels, watch the watch the channel, watch the videos, watch the commercials. It helps get my channel out there and uh, to like-minded individuals like us that may need to hear a message. Oh, first of all, let's talk about it. I am pulling for from the Grounded in Love um, deck by Maruk X. Uh, this is Twin Flame Soulmate or Karmic Relationship. Uh, I think it's like twin, yeah, twin flame soulmate karmic relationship. So this is, it says the breakthrough. Your connection is going through a big transformation that will elevate you to the next level. Believe in miracles. I always tell my son miracles and blessings. Uh, me and my sister say it all the time. And now I got my grandbaby saying it by, there was a breakup at one point. So the breakup is followed by a uh, breakthrough. So it's it. Excuse me, I had to burp. That is horrible. Um, it says, this time there is no going back. You're reclaiming your self-worth and beginning the healing process. Now, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. This could be for you. It could be for someone else. Um, but uh, the ego-driven, you could be dealing with somebody that is ego-driven. Um, this is what we call, um, what is it called? The peacock bob. We, My mother lived in an area, and there was a peacock peacock and we called him bob bottom of the deck is marriage with great patience you will achieve the commitment you're looking for this will be the kind of love many only dream of dream of finding so there you have it that is where we are there is going to be marriage uh, followed after a breakup because there was an ego driven person it says your twin flame could be stuck in in ego that is keeping them unaware of who they really are as a soul um, as excuse me who they really are as a soul this mask could be due to fears and you know I always tell you guys a lot of the things that's happening uh, with our twin flames or with the people that um, we are in situations with it's because of fear it's fear convenience and fear of the past con uh, and convenience uh, because you know they fear the past they find the yes people I'm not gonna just say yes men they find the people who uh, will be okay with everything that they have going on. Um, yeah, look at the cards. These cards came out and these cards flew out. So I'll go ahead and take these. They're all unsure energy. Oh, um, by the way, this is the, hold on, I want to say it right. Uh, Neo Tarot Feminine Tarot Book, uh, tarot, tarot Cards, two cards, two tarot decks in one. Um, so Seven of Pentacles, Unsure about planting a seed with this person, unsure about if this person will come and uh, do the work or also uh, be tough or give you the energy that you're looking for when it comes to, um, you know, y the things that you want. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, it could be action oriented. So going after the things or communicating, you want that, but you're unsure of the growth. And also if this person will be confident enough uh, nine of swords energy is anxiety you're not sure if this person or you can handle the anxiety when it comes to this situation let's clarify seven of pentacles seven of pentacles come um so so let's talk about the seven of pentacles sorry this is lack of long-term vision so this person doesn't have a, a long-term vision so that's the reason why you ended it that's why the ego is there whoa death and tower energy but remember death isn't 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 the end it's a transformation that brings new beginnings tower energy sometimes you got to tear down the limiting structures you built for yourself to move whoa to move forward better stronger and wiser followed by the three of swords energy can you see that which is heartbreak um this is heartbreak this could be stalemate this could be you know when it comes to a painful separation it could be you know um rejection so this person could have rejected you but now you're in your stage of four swords relaxing and taking care of yourself also, we have the judgment energy realization. You realize that you had to have this breakthrough in order. You had to break up in order to have a breakthrough because this person was very ego driven and you didn't think they were or goal oriented to come towards you. Knight of Swords energy is what we're clarifying. 
the Knight of Swords energy is what we're clarifying. So somebody could um, want to have marriage after this breakup happens and there's a breakthrough after they realize that their fears are and their anxiety is holding them back. But you know that it's all because you weren't impeccable with your words. But not only that, they're very ego driven temperance. Yeah. So you're not sure if they are going to be goal oriented and go after the things that they want, which is you and have balanced emperor energy. This could be a rough breakup for this person. Look at, um, okay, my cards. The angry face, emperor energy, right? This face is angry because of the fact that this person, you know, only followed the things that they want. It could be a failed, you know, uh, relationship um, or, you know, either one in structure or having the authority to do that. So you're not sure if they're going to be going after the things that they want, which is you. With confidence, you had to have some type of completion when it comes to this energy. Then we have the nine of swords energy. So the Nine of Swords energy is, again, anxiety, but with the Nine of Swords energy is unsure, uh, and that lets you know that there's some type of depression uh, or severe depression or feeling tormented um, with the Nine of Cups energy. Um, not sure that if they make these decisions to move forward, will they have their reward still? Will they be able to shine uh, the way that uh, they want to or the way that they're used to? And that's where the ego is involved at. We have the sun energy, no growth there. There's no growth here, um, or you're unsure of the growth. And so you had to, uh, yeah, King of Cups energy needs uh, clarification and is very unsure. So with the King of Cups, it just lets you know that there is emotionally manipulation, emotional manipulation or some type of moodiness or, you know, uh, when it comes to somebody being balanced. And that's the reason why we have the... Um, where is it at? The do 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 do. Jeez, I forgot which one it was. Uh, temperance energy. Yeah, there it is. Well, that's why we have the temperance energy. Let's clarify the King of Cups and the Sun energy. You're you're afraid that this person hasn't grown yet, and so therefore they had to have an ego death. Uh, Ace of Wands energy. Yeah, they haven't had the courage or the desires to go after the, or to go after the things that they want, and so therefore you're just like, you know what? I feel like this is, you know, a lot of delays, the lack of motivation, and you feel weighed down when it comes to this situation. But there is, you know, new beginnings here, uh, or there's thoughts of new beginnings. So you had to stand up for yourself. Always speak your mind. Don't take shit from anyone. And so that is the Queen of Swords energy. Uh, the Queen of Wands energy is, you know, when you get your confidence back, Queen of Wands also, with it being in reverse, could let you know that, you know, this is a very aggressive demand in person, um, or you could be very aggressive and demanding because you want to have your nine of pentacles again, back to nine of cups, energy, the rewards, but you want to do it with confidence. So the queen of wands comes down here with being unsure here. It's, uh, having the confidence, uh, and the emperor, the stability and having the completion that they want in order to have, and also having balance with that same energy. But marriage is there. Marriage comes after their soul searching and an ego death. So that is kind of how I see this energy when it comes to this person. I'm going to go ahead and pull from the um, Lover's Journey Oracle deck and the uh, Untold Truths of the Heart to see what it is. They had to have an ego death in order for them to want to have marriage or to have some type of energy of a relationship. Um, and um, not only are they worried about the pinnacles and the rewards, this is all that the ego was driven to. If they change, will they, you know, and the anxiety is coming from if they change, uh, you know, and have this breakthrough uh, that you wanted, will they be confident enough or will they be able to still uh, maintain? You see my moon cut on, huh? Talking to the moon. Y'all know I can't sing. But, you know, will they be able to do the things that they've been doing in our wildest dreams is here. So, again, you're the only person that they are compatible with, whether you like it or not. It's a rebellious love going against the grain. That, this card reminds me of me against the world, baby. Me against the world. Tupac, right? So in our wildest dreams comes out with missing you silently. So they're not, you know, again, hiding behind closed doors. And it says swimming in memories, nostalgic emotions. So they're thinking about it. And that's where the breakthrough and the soul searching is going through because they're trying to get you out of their head, you know. But when it comes to 
you know, everything else, this person, yeah, needs to nourish your soul. And you're the only person, soul growth and comfort and self-harmony that this person is able to have this with. And so, therefore, that's where the soul searching comes in at. It says, with great patience, you will achieve the commitment you're looking for. This will be kind, the kind of love many only dream of finding. So, again, back to that. And that's where the turning point is. It's either should you stay, should you go. But the thing is, is that you have to know that this is, and yeah, bottom of the deck is rejection. Irrational fear, saying no, and dismissal. They're afraid that you're going to reject them. And so that might be the case. It might not be the case. It just depends on where you are in this situation. If it's been nine years and you're just tired of being tired, then, you know, maybe it might be harder than what they think. But you have to be impeccable with your words. Say what you want, mean what you say. Cultivate faith. Have faith in the situation. If it's not for you, then it's not. This doesn't resonate. It's not yours. You know, don't don't uh, don't try to make it fit where it doesn't. That you know, only you know when this person has changed and healed. Uh, so we have to have great faith is to have great power because your intent you because your intent your will is undivided when your word isn't dissipated by doubt. The power of your word becomes even stronger. That's where the breakup came out, and that is why you were feeling the way that you were. But this person had to understand the realization was, look at all of these cards. It's judgment. It's the consequences of their actions. If the, um, yeah, see the three of swords, the death energy, and the tower just let you know uh, that you, you are unbothered today. You're unbothered, and you're unbothered because you had a realization. Let me move this light. You're unbothered because you had a real, that didn't make it any better. Oh, probably because I don't have my back light on. But anyway, you didn't, you had a realization that I have to move forward because I'm only getting older. This person is only getting older as well. And I'm tired of the bullshit. So they're afraid you're going to reject them when they finally do decide to come around. But you know what? That's on them. It ain't on you. You know, you've done your best in this situation, right? And now you, when they do come back around, you're not going to make assumptions. You're going to talk about it. This is both the heart and the throat chakra, being able to communicate and to forgive a person. The rhodochrosite, the rhodochrosite, uh, and this is by you being impeccable with your word. Heart chakra, forgiveness, comfort, and love. Send strength and healing to this person, place, thing, or situation. Um, the actual um, rhodochrosite says, my spirit grows as I treat myself and others with loving compassion. My spirit grows as I treat myself and others with loving compassion. So you did that. So now it's time for you to learn to forgive and say, I send strength and healing to such and such. Because as long as you keep drinking the poison of the past, you're going to always be bitter, respectfully. You know, I don't know how to say it no other way, but that's what's going to happen. As long as you keep thinking that the world is uh, falling and, and, you know, pushing you down, you're going to always feel like that. So you have to get out of that energy, send strength and healing to this person. They taught you a lesson. Either the lesson is that you're not going to go backwards and you're not going to ever let nobody treat you this way, or you're going to make sure that you're impeccable with your words moving forward with any relationship. So understand that we learn lessons in every situation. And if you don't want to learn your lesson, then sometimes it's okay to not listen, or sometimes it's okay to, to not want to understand, but those cause, um, that cause more resentment in your heart if you don't deal with your emotions behind it so respectfully i have to say that to you the green fluorite is your heart and your throat chakra we already talked about the heart chakra but the throat chakra is intuition perception and understanding that saying was understood doesn't have to be explained when you're impeccable with your words you say what you want you mean what you say um you'll be able to pr be protective cleansing and heal that's what the green fluorite is and it says my energies are balanced and grounded and that's where do, 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 do. where is that temperance energy is no matter if this person doesn't come after this energy i had some type of completion i have confidence i have stability i have completion confidence and stability and balance and so that is where you are with the situation so again let's go ahead and let this old energy go i now let go of worn out conditions of lack doubt hate negativity procrastination stagnation sadness Generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak, bad health, and addictions. Remember, addictions can be to a person, place, thing, or a situation. I love you guys.